Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GA with me, Seamus Brady. In this video, I'm going to be giving a match review of Galway's hugely impressive victory over Cork in Semple Stadium in Turles by 219 to 121. The probably, you could argue, result of Henry Shefflin's management right up there alongside beating Kilkenny in the Leinster round robin. But of course, losing to Kilkenny in the Leinster final kind of takes some gloss off of that. But yeah, they made a very fast start in this game. Before I get into the full match review, please like, subscribe, share and comment. It really helps us out. And let's go. So Galway, as I just was about to mention there, made a very, very fast start to the game. Two goals in the space of the first 15 minutes. Of course, right from the start, Jack Grealish fired a ball in from distance. Patrick Collins drops it into the back of the net. A bad mistake by Patrick Collins. He's usually better than that. That's definitely a once-off from him. He's been making fantastic saves all throughout the championship. He, he took his eye off it. He dropped the ball into net. It happens. It happened to Mark Fanning. It basically happened to Ever Quilligan. It happens. Um, the second, although it still was, he won't be happy with that, without doubt. The second goal, Connor Whelan burned Sean O'Donoghue. And for some reason, Damien Cahalan is basically standing right beside the space where Whelan is going to run into if there's going to be a goal there for Galway. And Cahalan just doesn't even bother to, to run across and to cover the space. He just stands there and basically watches Whelan turn or Dunhue and run in and bury it in the back of the net. It's poor defending by Cahalan, poor defending by Cork that no one came across and doubled up on Conor Whelan. Sean O'Donoghue is a fantastic defender, but Conor Whelan is one of the best forwards in the country. And leaving him one-on-one -on -one when he's so close to the goal is really naive. And they paid for a goal there for Galway. And in the 22nd minute, Aina Murphy then denied Dara Fitzgibbon a goal chance. Cork had had multiple goal chances. Alan Connolly had had a poor shot. Then Robbie O'Flynn fired one amazing save by Aina Murphy. And then Dara Fitzgibbon set up by Tim O'Mahony brilliantly. And then Aina Murphy denied that shot as well. There were a lot of wides early in this game. It's the same as the Clare Wexford. I don't really understand why there was so many wides. In the 25th minute, Ronan Glennon hit a beauty of a point to make it 2-3 to 4 points for Galway. Mark Coleman hit a free 4 court to make it 2-3 to 5. And Robbie O'Flynn tagged on a beautiful score to make it 2-3 to 6. Connor Whelan responded beautifully as well. 2-4 to 6 points. And David Burke added a nice score to make it 2-5 to 6. Speaking of which, I like the fact that David Burke now getting more minutes for Galway. He's a class hurler. Speaking of class hurlers, on the 30th minute, Joseph Cooney hit a belter. He was absolutely outrageous in this game again to make it 2-6 to 6 points. 12 first half wides for Cork was absolutely shocking and they also missed three big goal chances. They went in at halftime 2-6 to 6 points behind. Patrick Horgan came in at halftime for Conor Lehan, who was kept very, very quiet by Jack Grealish. Um, in the 38th minute, a rook fell to Shane Kingston and this was a massive moment. It was a big rook near the Galway goal. It fell out to Shane Kingston, as I mentioned. He ran through the Galway defence, buried it in the back of the net past Aina Murphy. But Galway responded like champions. They hit the next three points, and that made it 2-7 to 1-7. In the 41st minute, Conor Whelan hit that beauty to make it 2-9 to 1-7. Dara Fitzgibbon then made it 2-9 to 1-8. And with another point, he made it 2-9 to 1-9. A brilliant Joseph Cooney hook denied then a Robbie O'Flynn goal. That was one of the moments of the game. Robbie O'Flynn got through. He had it on his left. Joseph Cooney never gave up on it, kept chasing him, threw up the hurl, hooked him, denied him what would have been a massively boost, uh, boost for Cork if that had ended up in the back of the net. Brian Concannon hit a lovely point to make it 2-11 to 1-10, but Luke Mead responded to that to bring the gap down to three points again. They kept swapping scores. Jason Flynn hit a lovely one. Then Mark Coleman hit a cracker from the sideline. Cahal Mannion made a 2-13, 2-1-12. And then Patrick Horgan leveled up. Cork added another and Robbie O'Flynn scored another point to make a 2-13 to 1-15. And I was honestly thinking at this point that Cork maybe were going to go on and win. But Galway showed real steel, hitting two points in a row with Tom Monaghan getting the second to make a 2-15 to 1-15. An amazing score from Joseph Cooney from way inside his own half. Made it 2.16 to 1.15 on the 57th minute. Patrick Horgan responded to that. And then Alan Callaghan added a beauty to make it 2.16 to 1.17. In the 61st minute, David Burke hit on... No, Dahi Burke 
gave one of the biggest shoulders I've ever seen. Absolutely flattening Seamus Hannity. It was very much party Maron, Joe Canning, very much the Rock Sullivan on that poor Limerick fella, that clip that's been shared around since the internet was made, basically. Um, that was a massive hit. And it went straight down in the next play. Cahill Mannion pointed for Galway to make it 217 to 117. He did it again to make it 218 to 118. Connor Cooney hit a free to make it 219 to 118. Alan Callaghan as well for Cork was excellent after he came on. He hit two in a row to make it 219 to 120. Horgan then had a free, which would have brought Cork back to within a point. But he was from a huge distance out. He gave it everything. It hit the post. It was Galway's day. Even Fitzgibbon in the 74th minute brought Cork back to within one with a nice score. But Galway hung on. 219 to Galway, 121 to Cork. Galway into the All-Ireland semi-finals. I have to say, I thought Cork were going to win this. And I still stand by that I think that Cork probably are the better team. Uh, it's, it's a mad one to say, considering that Galway have just beaten them. But when I say, like the amount that Cork did to get in their own way in this game is absolutely baffling. I mean, yes, Galway did have some wides, but I have the stats here. Big shout out, of course, the GA stats man, always supplying the stats. But Cork in the game, Cork in the game hit 17 wides. 17 wides. Galway hit 12, Cork hit 17 wides, and there was one point between the teams. Cork religiously missed huge chances and we're not even mentioning there the goal chances Alan Connolly massive missed on that goal chance Dara Fitzgibbon should have buried that he hit it pretty much straight at Aina Murphy like Cork left that game behind them in my opinion Galway were beatable Cork should have beaten them um so I, yeah I think even though Galway won I don't think that Cork considering that Galway lost to Kilkenny in the Leinster final and then Cork beat Kilkenny in the all Ireland semi-final last year it's definitely a winnable game for Cork and considering how many chances they missed and wasted yeah if I was a Cork player or Cork fan I'd be considering that one one that you left behind but for Galway you do have to give credit you absolutely have to give credit I mean they hit they hit Cork for the goals when they could Conor Whelan's goal was from a really tight angle fantastic goal Joseph Cooney's performance was amazing. Cahalmanian played very well, I thought, as well. Dohi Burke was very good. That hit on Hannity again. Aina Murphy was fantastic in goal. So, and David Burke was very impressed with him, rolling back the ears in midfield. So, look, Galway did enough, and they won for a reason. And they're into the next round now, into the semifinals. But I think, I don't see them making the final with a performance like that. I think they have to step it up because Cork got off way too many shots. And if they let Limerick get off that many shots, or even Clare, with Clare's efficiency in the Munster final against Limerick. If they let teams like that get off that many shots, it could be a bad day for them. So that's my opinion. Just tighten up a little bit at the back. Don't let teams shoot the way they let Cork shoot. Um, and yet they should be good because they're a very, very good team. The physical size that they have is fucking scary. Like, But yeah, now, nah, apart from that, fantastic result there for Galway into the All-Ireland semi-final. And best of luck to them. That's my match review here, guys, on Player on GA. I hope you enjoyed. Until the next one, take care.